Hey, fellow problem solvers, follow-up video on sine, cosine, and tangent. Those are three trig functions, remembering that they are only ratios or fractions. So the mnemonic device I use to remember is this right here, so katoa. And all that means is the sine is the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine is the ratio of the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is the ratio of the opposite over the adjacent. This is only right triangle trig. So in any right triangle, you have two legs and a hypotenuse. It's right triangle plus one of the angles is 90. All three angles add up to 180. So these two angles here have to add up to 90. The right angle down here in the corner is always opposite the hypotenuse. The way you label triangles is capital letter is always the measure of an angle. So if this is angle A, Opposite angle A is side A in lowercase. So if this is angle B, opposite angle B is side B. And a lot of times a hypotenuse is side C and the right angle capital C, but it doesn't have to be that way. The size of the angle determines how long the ratio is of the, of the side. So the side length is dependent on the angle. All right, so that's the background. You are going to need either a calculator or a trig table to solve problems. But if we're talking about right triangles, you have to have two of the pieces to find the third piece. So if I'm given an angle and I'm asked to find side A, it is opposite angle A, I could use trig to do that. First thing I'm going to do is look at the pieces I have and the pieces I need. So I'm looking for an opposite side. I have a hypotenuse. I go up here. Opposite hypotenuse is this fraction here, so it's sine, so I'm going to use the sine function. So I'm going to say sine of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, so it's equal to the fraction A over 5. This value right here I could just pull out of a table or go to my calculator, making sure it's in degree mode and do sine of 20 on my calculator and get the ratio 0.34. So remember, all similar triangles have the same ratio of sides and the same measure angles. So if you have a gigantic triangle with an angle of 20 and it's a right triangle and the ratio of the opposite the hypotenuse will always be 0.34 to one. And that's what the calculator is giving you. It's giving you a ratio. This is a decimal, but it is the same thing as 34 over 100 or 34 percent 0.34 those are all the same thing if you can't remember fractions too well go back and watch the vi video in the course on fractions ratios okay so how my equation sine 20 degrees is equal to a over 5 i go to my calculator i enter sine of 20 degrees my calculator gives me the ratio of 0.34 so 0.34 and sine of 20 are the same thing so I could replace sine of 20 with 0.34 is equal to a over 5. I have an equation with one unknown a. I have to get that by itself. I could do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by 5. So if I do that over there, I'll do it over here. This is really 5 over 1. These 5s will cancel, giving me a by itself. Now I just have to do 5 times 0.34, 0.34 times 5 is going to give me a 20, carry the 2, 15, 16, 17. My decimal place is over 1, 2, and I have 1.7. So what I'm saying here is A by itself is equal to 5 times 0.34 or 1.7. This side, side A, is 1.7 units long. So in a triangle where this is 20 degrees and this is 5, the ratio of the opposite the hypotenuse is 0.34. 1.7 divided by 5 is the same thing as 0.34. If this triangle was really big and this were 10 times larger, like 50, then this would be 17. If this were 500, this would be 170. As long as that angle stayed the same, we're talking about right triangles, that ratio has to stay the same. 170 divided by 500 is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, and it's going to be the same ratio of 0.34. Let's do one more. So here I'm looking for side C. 
That's my hypotenuse. See if you could set this up, pause the video, and do this problem before I do it. C is my hypotenuse. I'm looking for that. I'm talking about this angle here. This leg is adjacent to it because it touches it. That's what adjacent means. This leg is opposite to it, but I have the adjacent leg. I'm looking for the hypotenuse. I go up here, adjacent hypotenuse, that's going to be cosine. So cosine of 35 degrees is equal to my adjacent leg, 6, over my hypotenuse, C. There. So once I have my equation set, cosine of 35 degrees equals my adjacent over hypotenuse. On my calculator, I have cosine of 35 is equal to 0.817, and I round it to two decimal places. So cosine of 35 and 0.82 are equivalent. So I'm able to replace this with this. So I replace that with that. That gives me 0.82 is equal to 6 over C. I'm trying to isolate my variable C. You remember, all numbers can be fractions just over 1. I multiply both sides of the equation by C. That allows me to cancel these C's here and put it over here. Now I have 0.82 times c is equal to 6. Still isolating my variable c, I divide both sides by 0.82. That's going to allow me to get c by itself, my goal. If I do that to the left side, I also do it to the right side. c is equal to 6 divided by 0.82. That's saying 6 divided by 0.82. And then I could do the long division, or I could just do it on my calculator. And I think it's going to work out to be 7.3. And then I could see that my value C is equal to 7.3. So that means this hypotenuse here is 7.3. That makes sense. The hypotenuse always has to be the longest side. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. My adjacent leg was given. My interior angle was given. And because I'm looking for the hypotenuse, I have the adjacent because it touches it. That's why I use cosine. So I'm hoping that's a good overview of how to use trig. It has a million applications, really one of the most useful applications in math. Um, if some of these other pieces didn't make sense, like the ratio or solving equations, go back and watch that chapter. All of the links um, to this video will be in the description. I'm actually out of town for a day, so... Uh, I'll update that description when I get back. All right, hoping this video helps. This is Colfax Math. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Thank you.